guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena. Today's video is all about how to create a beautiful, aesthetic, cohesive, harmonious Instagram feed. First of all, let's talk about why do you actually need a good looking Instagram feed. A beautiful and meaningful Instagram feed is definitely a great and powerful marketing tool. It helps personal blogs and creators to share their vision with the right audience, as well as it helps to create a community. And it's not only good for personal brands, but it also helps e-commerce brands and businesses to sell their services, to sell their products by creating a right uh, emotional connection with potential customers and by translating the right values. Also having a visually appealing feed can help you to gain more followers and increase engagement on your profile. I have been blogging on Instagram for many years now and I'm constantly creating visuals both for my Instagram accounts and also for other Instagram accounts and for different brands because I also work as a visual designer. So I will be really happy to share with you my knowledge and experience, tips and tricks on how you can create an aesthetic, beautiful, harmonious Instagram feed that will work for your needs. Number one is all about topics and meanings on your Instagram feed and on your account itself. It's one of the most important points in social media and especially on Instagram. Remember what your account is actually about. What meanings do you carry to your audience? What information do you want to provide to existing and to potential audience? There is a really easy and nice trick that you can uh, use to check uh, if it's easily readable and understandable to others what your account is about. First of all, you need to answer these questions. Who are you? Where do you live? Where do you work? Do you provide any services? If yes, what kind of services do you provide? Do you sell something? If so, what do you sell? What style do you have? And then after answering all these questions to yourself, you can ask your friends and you can ask just random independent people what your account is about. What first comes to their mind when they see your feed, when they see your Instagram account, what they can say about it. And then you can just compare your answers and answers of these people. And then you can understand if these answers will be matching, then it's great. You are doing a good job and everything is understandable and readable. But if the answers will not match and if people are answering some random things, and not exactly what do you want it to convey from your account, then you need to work on your feed more in deep. To have a beautiful Instagram feed, you need to define the style and define the vibe of account. Defining the style for your Instagram feed is crucial because it will set a tone for your content and it will create a more cohesive look that will attract and retain new followers. And when thinking about your vibe, consider the emotions and moods that you want your followers to feel when they view your content. Do you want to inspire your own dance? Do you want to make them laugh? Or maybe you want to evoke a sense of calmness and serenity? It's essential to write down a few adjectives that capture the vibe that you want to establish for your feed. For example, if you want a fun and playful vibe, you might write down adjectives like bright, colorful, cheerful. You may write down adjectives like calm, minimalist, simple, monochrome, peaceful. And once you have a clear idea of what kind of vibe you want to convey, it's much easier to create this type of content that will align with this aesthetic. Right now, I would describe my own Instagram feed as a warm, minimalist aesthetic with neutral color palette. And third point is, of course, about color palette. It's very important to take into account the color palette of the feed. As you may know, each color has certain meanings and associations. And using the right colors, you can either emphasize the values of your style and content or your personal brand, or you can just carry the wrong and inappropriate sometimes association. And the right colors can also attract the right target audience and customers. For example, if you're using blue color in your feed and in your design, this color often associated with trust and intelligence. So if you want to convey a sense of professionalism and reliability, you can use the shades of blue in your feed and this could be a good choice. And for example, pink color is often associated with femininity, with romance, with some kind of sweetness. 
So if your content is geared towards a female audience, you can use shades of pink. Green color is often associated with the growth, with nature, with wellness, with health, with self-care. So if your content is related to this kind of topics, you can use more shades of green to show this uh, and to highlight your topics to your audience. Black and white color palette could be a good choice if you want to convey a sense of, of sophistication and timelessness and simplicity. And if you want to create a minimalistic, classical, monochrome look for your feet, this will be a great choice for you. It is important to remember that different meanings and associations of colors can vary depending on cultural and even personal interpretations. So when choosing a color palette for your feet, make sure to consider your target audience. Talking about colors, first of all, you need to use uh, the basics. You can select different shades for your profile from white, gray and black and beige, and then strike a balance between accent and primary colors, which could be a more bright colors like red, blue, green, pink, and you can mix them together. And talking about the basic colors, which are white, beige or gray, here you need to decide if you want more, more cold or warm look. And if you want more cold, you can use more of gray shades. If you want more warm Instagram feed, you can use more of beige, brown shades. And if you want to use really uh, bright, popping uh, to the eye colors, they really can catch the attention of the viewer, but I think it's really important to use them right and use them more like accents, then it will look more balanced and more harmonious in the feed. Maybe you already know, but there are several basic uh, color combinations that always look good and harmonious. And these color combinations are basically used everywhere in art, in movies, in design, in everything visual. For example, it is a monochrome color scheme it is a palette that involves using different shades of a single color. And this is my favorite one. I usually prefer to work more with earth toned colors like brown, green, beige. And I really love to use, for example, just one beige color and different shades of it. Another color scheme could be a triangular one. It is a color palette that involves using three colors that are acquisitioned from each other on the color wheel. For example, you could choose uh, yellow, blue and red to create a bold and vibrant feed. Another color combination is complementary. It's a very popular one, especially in movies. And complementary color palette involves using two colors that are opposite to each other on the color wheel. For example, it could be blue and orange. Next, let's talk about the harmony in the feed. I think this is the most crucial and the most important point if you want to achieve a beautiful, aesthetic Instagram feed. A harmony in the feed presents a unified and this cohesive look when everything looks uh, good together, while still showing a variety of different content, of different photos and visual elements, you still can have this cohesive look and everything looks as a whole together. So the goal here is not to, to edit every photo in the same style or in the same way, but more to create like a collage of different photos that are edited differently, that look differently, but still they look together good by right contrast and by right balance. Then of course, think about air and space in your feed. Adding air and space to your Instagram feed is a great way to achieve a minimalist and more clean aesthetic. And what is the most important is uh, by using more negative space and by using more air in the feed, you can highlight the information and content on which you want to have accents and on which you want to have um, the attention of people. And there are a lot of ways to achieve this. You can use different low contrast photos, for example, or you can use minimal backgrounds. You can use uh, photos with just few details to add this space and air to the feed. You can also include photos of the sky, of nature, of beach, something minimalistic. Another idea which you can use, which I really love, is to use templates, graphics and designs. And I think they can be used uh, everywhere. I think brands can use them in a great way to present their values. I think all personal blogs can use them to show what they like and just to share some kind of useful information. 
And I think that um, coaches, of course, can use them to show their services. It's really, really useful for anyone. And it's not only useful, it's just beautiful because it creates this kind of variety of content in your feed. And by this, you can achieve balance and harmony and achieve this kind of aesthetic feed. And of course, incorporating templates, graphics and designs into your feed can help break up the visual space and just, as I said, add some variety of the content. You can, for example, use graphics and add your favorite quotes. As you may know, I work not only as a blogger, but I also work as a visual digital designer and I create those digital templates that I am selling and all the links you can find in the description uh, below. You can purchase my templates if you want to, or you can just visit my website to get some inspiration with these graphics or maybe you want to create them by yourself. Next thing I would like to discuss with you, which will help you to achieve aesthetic feed, is variety of content in the feed. Graphics and templates are the perfect solution for adding more content variety to the feed, as I already said, but also, of course, the versatility of the photos itself can make uh, harmony within the feed. For example, last photo was selfie. It's nicer, I think, to use something else with a wider perspective. Either it can be nature or it can be a full body look or something like interior or details so then you can combine all these photos as a collage and you will have a variety of content within the feed so try not to repeat perspectives in the photos one by one in a row but of course sometimes different content creators and influencers break all these rules and it's totally fine because there are actually no rules because it's all just creative process and I really know some influencers that are posting like 10 selfies in a row or 10 interiors in a row if you don't want to add uh, selfies or something like this. That's totally fine and it still can look all super beautiful. But my tips are just like basic principles that really can help anyone to achieve a beautiful fit. So yeah, there are no rules and this is just a creative process so you can do whatever you want. And number seven is of course about planning. I think planning is crucial in any project and I think you need to consider your Instagram as a project. If you want, of course, to have profit, if you want to get brand deals and develop your Instagram account. Maybe you don't want to earn money from it, but still, if you're watching this video, probably you are interested in how you can improve your Instagram. So yeah, planning is really important. By using different schedulers and right apps for the planning like feed preview or unul you can preview and organize your photos before uploading them so then you can really make sure that they all look beautifully and harmoniously together in addition sometimes this kind of apps uh, offer a useful feature such as post schedulings and analytics but actually right now instagram offered post scheduling on their platform itself and i think this is just the best thing they, they could do and that's what I was waiting for such a long time. And that's it for today. These are my tips and tricks on how you can achieve this aesthetically pleasing, cohesive Instagram feed. I really have a lot more of different tips and tricks of how you can achieve a beautiful aesthetic Instagram feed. If you are interested in this type of content for me, please write this in the comments below. It's really important to know your feedback and to know your opinion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow my Instagram account and to follow my YouTube for more content like this. Bye, see you in the next video.